Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throw that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height and reach. Let's get it started. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, El Diablo. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Unable to land the head kick there. He is all about that left kick to the body. You can't take many of those, you better check. Went for the inside leg kick. How good is that right hand? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 
able to check that kick as well. Oh, nice look by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Big kick land. Big body kick. And they separate. Nice one, two there. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back in range. Back and forth we go. Beautiful body kick. Nice one, two there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Kick to the body by Lou. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Blocks the shot. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Straight punch land. Way to hide that leg kick. Left kick once again. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. We got him whip his hip into that kick. Back to the feet now. Right on the button. Over and over and landed a big body kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High number Ready? of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, big punch land. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Head kick lands. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, He's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he counters with a hook, and he landed the punch there, or so it appeared. Nice job by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. Lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at him drive his shin spots with that body shin. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. 
Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking team. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, like the thought there. Good attempt at a counter. Ultimately, it's no good. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect there. Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. want you to keep your hands up, keep moving your head, keep moving your feet, cut those angles, and let's check. All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready? underway. His strong Ready? leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice liver shot, lands. Body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the key at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Remain in the round. seconds remain in the round. One side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Let's relax. Excellent work. All those rounds on the hands in the gym have paid off. 
All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. Do you understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC? Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the guy. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice kick there by Lou. I mean, he's cutting him down to size, but he's really like it. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Straight right hand, no good. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, a little single collar That's a tie there. scramble right there. Beautiful transition. That knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that from the point. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take any of it. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You got to like what you're seeing this one. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh! And they separate. That right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Nice punch lands over the top. 30 seconds to go. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Right hand on point. 10 seconds to go in round four. The right hand. Hey, hey, All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Yeah. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure, and when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low, and his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. So what are you going to do about it? All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Out of range with that one. So that just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body, and you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that area. Nice strike. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, nice. Nice. Misses again with a right punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Slips. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? 
well done to block that powerful kick to the block. He's loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see who he goes for. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything go. Big kick lands. All combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Nice straight punch. Working out of that southpaw. Oh, he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that save. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 50-45, 49-46, and 50-45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly, Pretty easy fight to score, I thought.